Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello again, I'm Scott Levin. Within the last two hours, we learned a judge has denied a petition to allow the wrestling season to continue. To your sides, Kelly Dudzik joins us tonight with what we know so far tonight. Kelly? Mary Alice, the state qualifier was supposed to happen tomorrow at Star Point, but it's been moved to North Tonawanda High School. And to get everybody up to speed, Wednesday we learned the Star Point varsity wrestling season was over when the school district released a statement saying it had received, quote, serious allegations of inappropriate conduct by one or more members of its varsity wrestling team. Then last night, the Niagara County Sheriff's Office confirmed it is investigating those claims. Now, some of the wrestlers' parents have hired an attorney Attorney. He told us this afternoon that the parents wanted to get a temporary restraining order to stop the district from preventing their kids from wrestling tomorrow. Basically, the parents and their attorney are arguing that if other kids did something wrong, it shouldn't stop their children from participating. In the legal paperwork filed yesterday, we learned more about the allegations that the school district so far has not revealed. The attorney alleges two team members were involved in an incident with another team member last month, and he claims those two wrestlers were, quote, roughhousing and piled on each other, taking the other kids' shoes and socks. The legal filing also claims a second similar incident happened the next day at a barn off campus where the wrestlers were practicing because it was a snow day. The parents are also saying the parent of the child who was targeted only complained after their son did not qualify for tomorrow's tournament. The judge ruled against that group of parents. We disagree with the judge's decision, but ultimately it's up to the judge to make that determination. Uh, again, we felt that by disciplining the entire team, uh, they were stigmatizing a group of boys who were not involved in the incident and it wasn't, un it wasn't fair to them. Some of these uh, student athletes have dedicated their entire academic career to wrestling. Wrestling's important to them. A number of them are ranked highly in the state uh, they're missing an, uh, another opportunity to showcase their talents for potential scholarships. Says the parents feel like the district could just discipline the students involved in any potential misconduct and not punish the entire team. Now, we did contact the school district again this afternoon for comment, and we have not heard back. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.